it's Arlette Hardy, blogger and joy strategist from chasing-joy.com and I am coming to you from my car with a baby making update. Today is five days post my five day frozen embryo transfer and I have not yet tested. This is the longest I've gone without testing. I think on any cycle ever, <laughs> um, technically, because when I was doing IUIs, I think I would start testing around seven or eight days post ovulation and five days post five day transfer is about 10 days post ovulation. So, I have not tested yet, and I am both dying to test and terrified to test. I started out feeling pretty optimistic about the cycle. Um, everything went really well with the embryo transfer, as you, could, as you guys saw um, from that video, that the whole day went really well. I did that like a, a vlog video where I went through, took you guys with me for my whole day. Um, everything went well, uh, but then this morning I just woke up and like almost in a panic that it hadn't worked and that it was going to be another negative and I just felt ugh, terrible and I guess I felt been feeling a little down all day. Now I know part of that is the progesterone. I have learned in all these cycles that the progesterone does make me feel a little bit down. Um, not like down, like down for no reason, but things that would bother me, some bother me more. So, you know, not knowing if you're pregnant, being the two week wait is terrible. So I know the progesterone is making me feel it a little bit more um, than if I wasn't on a progesterone. So I have had some symptoms However, these same symptoms could be just from the progesterone. And I know that for a fact because I had some of them before the transfer. So I, before the transfer, I had a little bit of cramping in my uterus area. Um, not, I'm sorry, not really cramping. I had twinges. I had twinges in my uterus. Excuse me. And I had um, some breast sensitivity. So that's continued on and off. Um, since the transfer, I did start having cramping. I had cramping almost every day. Today, it's less. Um, that could be because I'm not pregnant. <laughs> and the cramping was just side effects of having the embryo transfer. Or it could be that the cramping has lessened because the embryo has actually implanted, which is what I'm praying. Um, I had a really sharp pain, um, I think the night after the embryo transfer, like it woke me up in the middle of the night, or should be like, I should, uh, I think it was mid-morning. Um, I've had some constipation, I know that's gross, including today. <laughs> Um, I've had some bloating, um, and I guess indigestion, like that really full feeling, which I guess maybe that's the same as bloating, but anyway, like I said, all this could just be from the progesterone. This is my first time officially doing the two, um, cc's of progesterone. Every other time I tried was either one cc when i did injections or it was just suppositories so i'm i am taking more progesterone than i have in the past so that could give me more symptoms uh oh and i had headache that was another symptom I had headache a lot yesterday but then i also hadn't eaten <laughs> so i don't know if that was why um so I don't know I want to test because I want to know I just want to see that second line so bad 
even if it's really faint in the squinter, I just want to see and I want to see it progress and um sorry I'm watching this car back up <laughs> in front of me I thought I was going to hit the other parked car but it didn't um but then I'm terrified to test because if I, it's negative like oh that's going to feel oh Sorry guys, I had to stop the video to tell a lady she was going to drive off with a soda on top of her car. Anyway, if I test and it's negative, that's, you know, I don't know, at five days, if I test tonight, <laughs> it won't be first morning urine. Um, however with the two other times that I did test and I was pregnant I um my tests were always darker at night now I don't know if that was because both of those were failed pregnancies one was an actual mis miscarriage and then the next was a chemical um but for the record with the chemical I didn't test that morning I did I waited until the I had told myself I was not testing anymore and then I decided to test that night. So I don't know what it looked like in the morning. So if I test tonight and it's negative, that could just be that I should have tested in the morning or it could be too soon. But then I start the cycle of testing, 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 which I don't know. I mean, it sucks when it's they're negative. I don't know if I would feel any different if it was negative later um this is hard for me not knowing i don't do well with uncertainty i like to know and prepare one way or the other so i don't know if i don't test will i be happier you know i feel like it just becomes more and more challenging to convince myself that i'm pregnant without seeing a test so i don't know what i'm gonna do i prayed about it um so I just left work. I prayed about it when I left. And, oh, before I tell you guys that, I have had one symptom that is very unusual for me. And I've had a lot of lower back pain I think, the last couple days. Today it has been a little less, but it is there. But not like terrible, um, but kind of like before, like when I get my period. Um, and I don't get a lot of cramps or pains or PMS type stuff with my period, but I usually sometimes get a little lower back ache and I have that, which that's unusual. I've never had that with any other cycle. So that's, it feels like I'm about to get my period, which I've heard some people feel like that when they're pregnant. So I'm hopeful that that's what it is, but I don't know. So that's unusual. Um, but anyway, I mean, all the symptoms can be, like I said, attributed to the progesterone or it could be something good. I don't know. So anyway, I was saying I prayed before I left work. Like, God, should I test now? Should I not test? I don't know. Should I keep holding out? I'm having some people over in a few days. Some of them know that I had to transfer. I don't plan to tell anyone, even if I see a line. Um, at that point, uh, maybe my cousin, maybe. Um, but other than that, I don't plan to say anything. So I kind of feel like if I see negative, and then I know once I start testing, I'm going to keep testing, and it's still negative. When people ask me, will I feel like I'm lying if I say, oh, I'm still waiting? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, I prayed before I left work that God would help me, give me some guidance on if I should start testing or not. Would it make me feel calmer to take a test or not? I don't know the answer. See, guys, I'm sorry. I'm burping in the video, which is gross because I have the indigestion. So, um, sorry. But... I, feel, I figured I'd go to the Dollar Tree because I have to go here anyway to get some things for when I have people over. So they have cheap tests in here and I've used them before. Um, actually, when I first, when I was pregnant and it was a miscarriage, missed miscarriage, it was a Dollar Tree test that actually 
um, came up positive. <laughs> so I believe they work. I know they're not necessarily the most sensitive, but um, but often they don't have any. So I feel like, okay, if, and I know I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't even test God, but if there's none in there and I can't buy any because they're often sold out, then clearly God does not intend me to test today because I'm not going to go to any other stores from here. If there are some in there today, I'm going to buy them and then I'll probably keep debating and contemplating for at least a little while longer if I'll test, if I'll test tonight, if I wait until tomorrow, if I continue to see how long I hold out. I don't know. I don't feel good holding out. I know it's been a general consensus between everyone, you guys on YouTube, uh, people who comment on the blog posts. Um, my nurse at the clinic and my online therapist that I test too early um, but I don't know I don't feel better waiting I just I woke up this morning feeling like almost panicked so I don't know but anyway thanks for watching my rambling long video um, debating if I should test or not but at least you guys know I did held out longer than any other time because it's five days post my five day transfer um so anyway the next video that you guys should see should be um me testing whether i start testing now or whether i test later um i will be testing eventually because beta is now just about a week is basically a week away so I will be testing before the beta. I definitely want to have a clue as to what the beta results are going to be. I don't want to get that call, especially because I'll likely be at work. I don't want to be blindsided. I want to be a little bit prepared. So anyway, I'm going to head in to the store. Let me know in the comments what you guys think I did. Do you think I test? Do you think I'm going to test tonight? Do you think I'm going to be able to wait until tomorrow or the day after? How many more days, if any, do you think I'll be able to go without testing? That's assuming that they have the test in there. If they don't have the test, do you think I'm going to buy a test tomorrow? What do you guys think I'm going to do? Let me know in the comments. If you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe if you want to stay up to date on my journey as well as other things going on uh, with Chasing Joy, which is my brand and uh, my blog. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.